a man who took statistics from, well, spreadsheets to TV screens, Nate Silver. There's not a free lunch, right, that we need to develop uh, best practices and bring in talent and gain more experience. Uh, the data is really important and it enables a lot of things, but we also need people who know how to use it and know what the limitations. Yeah, working within constraints does mean that you have to um, you have to prioritize quite a bit, um, recognize that cases where um, where you're not measuring something and where you start to measure things that you hadn't before produce the largest marginal gain. Often at that early stage you get a little bit more quantitative and and get rid of kind of bad practices that have been persistent for a long time for, for bureaucratic reasons. That's a very that's a very bad Will solid data be enough to kind of cut through the you know partisan politics? Uh, well, you know, there's a question about whether whether data is making kind of politics better in person. There, there's some about the campaigns, including the Obama campaign last year, um, are very smart about how they use data and, and voter targeting, right? But I'm not sure I want to make our political our politicians, our political campaigns not in kind of manipulating voters more and more. Do you feel that that's a problem with, um, particularly with social media? Um, I think, well, I think, look, uh, you know, there's more and more information and data we have on individual voters now, so you can kind of profile people more and more, and so, uh, you know, I mean, I think we have to think about the implications of as data is being collected, then, then who owns that data?